Hi students, uh, hope you guys had fun, you know, forming uh, the tables yesterday. So we are going to move on to a new concept today. Um, that is to find out this uh, measure of center and also the meaning of range. So I think most of us have learned this before, you know, there are actually three modes to measure. But most of the time, you know, in real life, we'll say, oh, we always find the average. Okay, not necessarily um, average is the best way to, to use uh, as a way to measure the center. Okay, I will uh, elaborate a little bit more in the future on this. Okay, for example, the average we know that is actually um, uh, known as mean uh, in, in statistics. So to get the mean is basically we've got to find the total uh, number. Uh, we've got to add up all the data and then divide by the, the number of values um, in the set of data. Okay, later I will show you some example. So medium is the, basically looking for the middle number of the data. So, but it's very important for them, for you to actually arrange the data in a numerical order from the smallest to the largest. Of course, mode is to find out the most common uh, occur occurrence. Like yesterday, uh, when we did the uh, data collection on the the, the most uh, common uh, group of people with the, the highest number of um, mobile phone, you know, that's between the age of 11 to 20. So that's the mode, okay, the, the most common one. And of course, the range is basically to find uh, the difference between the highest and the lowest value. We touched a little bit on this before when we did um, negative numbers, isn't it? Oh, the range is always in terms of positive, okay, it's always positive. Okay, take note of that. Um, okay, mean, okay, known as average, okay, so let's say you're given a set of data like this. So you're supposed to find a mean, so I'm sure most of us are familiar with it. You've got to add up all the numbers, divide by the number of uh, data, number of uh, sets of data that we have. Okay, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So there are 17 numbers here. So you add them up, that's why you divide by 17, okay. And then um, you actually get a decimal, and then uh, normally we'll tell you, okay, leave answer to one decimal point, two decimal points, so on and so forth. So for this case, if I say I uh, request for you to leave it to one decimal place, you actually have 2.9. Okay, remember you have this wavy line, that's been the exclamation, and then you've got to put a bracket to one decimal point. Okay. Okay, next one, median. Okay, do take note of median. Uh is an Quite a tricky concept, so do pay attention to this. So, um, first, when you're given a set of data to find a median, like what I, I've told you a lot early on, you need to reorder the data from uh, smallest to the largest. So we reorder it. So that's why I did. Okay, then from here, I got to find out the number of um, data given to us. So it's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15. Good. 15, whenever it's odd number, it's good because we can find the middle. Um, oh, the 15, okay, how to find the middle number. So this is one way you can help yourself. So if it's an odd number, just then you add one, divide by two. So we are looking for the eighth value. That's how we find. So the eighth value, so it's two, four, six, eighth. So the eighth value is here, okay? That's one. So five is the median for this set of data. Okay, the problem arises here. When it's even number, or it will be slightly more uh, trickier for us to get the answer. So still the same thing, read all the, num the number, and we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 numbers here. Okay, we have 14 numbers here. So the middle of it is actually uh, 14, you divide by 2, is 7, isn't it? So 7, we've got to look for the 7 and the 8 number. So which one is the 7 and 8? So we can't look for the 7, okay, because that is not the middle number. So we've got to look for two of them. 2, 4, 6, 7 is here, the 8 is here. Okay, 6, 7 and 8. So these are the two numbers. So what is the median of it? So since there are two numbers, we need to get the average of this or the mean of these two. So to get the mean is just add them out, divide by 2. So the median of this set of data is 6.5. Even though 6.5 is not listed here. But that's how you find the median with an even number of data given to you. 
Got it, everyone? Or is quite easy. Or you just need to add one divided by two. Then you know that is the, the whatever the web value that you're looking for. But when it's even, you got to always add the two up divided by uh, two. Okay. Got it. Okay. Mode. Uh, like what you say, the mode is actually to find out the most frequent. In fact, for any data collection, mode is uh, important in any advertisement. Uh, I want to find out, like I say, the, the telecom company, the main purpose is to target that group of people. We know that, you know, 11 and 20 years old uh, people are buying phones. So I will put up advertisement to entice this group of, uh, you know, age 11 to 20 to buy the phone. You know, they will, you know, get their parents to buy the phone for them. So I must make it as attractive as, attractive as possible, okay, in my advertisement to attract this group of people. Okay, for example, now you're given a set of mode here. So we've got to find out, okay, which one actually uh, occur the most often for the first one. So it seems like, oh, 12 twice, 5 twice, okay. Seems like I have 5 and 12 that appear twice, the rest all appear once. So for this case, you can have two modes, okay, because there are two of them that appear twice. So 5, five and 12 are um, the mode of the given set of data. What about the following set here? Hmm, everything just appear once. So when such things happen, do take note that it simply means that there's no mode in the given set of data because there's nothing that is very common. It's all one time. You, you can't be saying, oh, <laughs> all the five numbers are mode. You know, you, you can't do that. So it must be at least two or three times that appear, okay? That's that. Okay, and the range uh, is also quite an uh, easy concept to understand. We just need to find the difference, so you need to subtract the highest value and the lowest value. So for this case, we've got to find the highest and the lowest. The highest is actually 76, the lowest is 12. So the range will be just a difference, so the range is 64. Okay, so that's all for today's lesson. Um, you know, do, do drop me a Teams a message if you are still not sure. Okay, see you, bye-bye.